the youths of Nimbe were out protesting the oil spillage in the community. Me, I'm a lover boy. Not a fighter. I was out there professing my love for me. <laughs> And protecting her. Right. Some of the youths were more daring than others. But all of us are about to suffer for their actions. Resume waiting you want to dog up. Yes, I don't like what with Chris. Oh Gapi. Show some number is no delay. This will go fit cack. Take a part my Captain Kudos. Start an engine. Man, she like this now. You follow her. This is the Ghana Navy. Stop now. <laughs> I am eager. And this is my ship. Fight me! Welcome to another interesting edition of Movie Boss Extra, your one-stop channel that talks all about movies and more, from Nollywood to Hollywood with facts and figures. I remain your host, Wale Adebayo. In this edition of Movie Boss Extra, we'll be reviewing Charles of Palenque and Play Network Studios' new mystery and crime thriller film, Blood Vessel, released to the global audience on Netflix on 8th December 2023. Without wasting much of your time, let's delve into it. Blood Vessels revolve around six strangers, Hoyin, Abe, Tekena, Olotu, Boma, and Degbe, all caught up in military raid on their community and running away from their reality only to end up in a worse situation. How did their path cross? Hoyin, played by Adel Bidibo, and Abe, played by David Ezike, were madly in love. But Hoyin's father, Ebiye, played by Bimbo Mane, was against their relationship. He told his daughter Onyin's hostage when he finds out she was pregnant, but Harvey helped her escape. With soldiers attacking common people in Nembe, Onyin and Abe had no choice but to hide away as they were caught up in the chaos. Ebiye lied to the soldiers that Abe was the ringleader responsible for the killing of the soldier, and the soldier were on the lookout for Abe. Abe eventually found out that Ebiye had informed the army that he was the leader of the gang that killed the soldier. Abe's sister brought him money and essential and asked him to run away with Oni if he wanted to survive. On the other hand, Boma, played by Gide Kena Achufusi, and Degbe were involved in the killing of a soldier. They were protesting against the environmental catastrophe as a result of the oil spillage. They wanted to start a fire, but the unexpected death of the soldier resulted in more chaos, and Boma and Degbe had no choice but to flee town. Meanwhile, Tekena and Olotu left their house in search of a better future. But they ended up getting caught in raid on Nimbe by the soldiers. Olotu had earlier made an arrangement with one Mr. Perekemi, a sailor played by Francis Duru, who promised to help them escape from the country. Boma knew the sailor and he was hopeful that maybe Mr. P would allow the rest of them safe passage to travel abroad as well. After making payment to Mr. P, he helped the group of six settle in a hidden location on the vessel ship. While the place was clumsy and had no ventilation, they were ready to bear with it in the hopes of leaving the country. Mr. P promised to bring them food every day at dinner time. The group finally felt hopeful, but they were unaware that Mr. P suffered a health issue and was taken off the ship before it sailed. Igor, a vicious Russian monster who was traveling with his sister, was the owner of the vessel ship. 
As you know me on Movie Boss Extra, I am not a spoiler, I won't serve you the spoiler. But we advise you to go watch this crime thriller, Blood Vessel, released on Netflix on the 8th of December 2023. Here are the questions you need to seek answer to when you watch the movie, Blood Vessel. Who is really Mr. Igor, the vicious Russian monster who owns the vessel ship? 2. Did the six made it to safety from the vessel? Blood Vessel from the stable of Charles Opaleke and Play Network Studios is directed by Moses Inwan and produced by Agoze Ugu, Arafat Belo Osage and Roxane Adekunle Wright. With a vibrant cast including veterans such as Bimbo Manu, Eberi Okaro Onyiko and with upcoming stars such as David Ezike, Obina Okenwa, Levi Chikere, Adao Bidivo and Jude Kene Achufosi, Blood Vessel has all the promises of an exciting movie. The cast all delivered their role perfectly as they brought their end game on set. On a sad note, Sylvester Ekane, who played Tekena, died on 12th July 2023 and was not alive to witness the release of Blood Vessel. So, rest in perfect peace. In cinematography, the movie ticked all the boxes. Gideon Shuku, who was the director of photography, did an amazing job with area shots and angle shots. I can imagine what they went through in shooting some of the scenes on the vessel ship. In SFX and Effect, the team led by Fishayo Adefolaju and Ifanyi Okole did a yeoman job. The blood spills and makeup look real. Also, the makeup done on Boma while in the ship when it was to be skimmed was gory enough to send down Chi down the spines of the audience. In story plot and twist, we score Blood Vessel 7 over 10. The story plot was simple and less complex with less twist. And all conflicts were resolved towards the end, except the last scenes where Ebiye went to Abe's house with a gun. Did he kill Abe's mother or sister? Because we know Abe had just missed Ebiye by a few seconds. Also, the use of Nembe language also helped in driving home the story. Blood Vessel comments on the social political condition of the Niger Delta people, where the indigenous population is on the street fighting for their survival, as their means of livelihood have been destroyed by all spills and pollutions, while personalities like Mr. P take advantage of the situation by promising the youth a better life abroad and providing them a way of escape even if the root may take their life. We recommend blood vessels to lovers of crime thriller and a bit of action, but be warned you find some scenes gory with blood everywhere. Hmm, I see why the film is titled Blood Vessel. All in all, Movie Boss Extra scores Blood Vessel 8 over 10. Hmm, the standard of our movies are getting high. Kudos to the team. Show some number this new day like this will go fit cock. Take a part of my Captain Kudos, start an engine. Man, she like this now, you fall out. This is the Ghana Navy. Stop now. If anything happened to her. I need that. And this is my ship. Four. I hate you. Three. Well, what's this, Mayana? We have come to the end of the review of Blood Vessel and we hope you enjoyed it. Let's hear from you in our comment section if you agree with our ratings and review. Also, don't forget to subscribe to MovieBot Extra. Please, please, please subscribe, like, share and hit the notification button. Thanks for staying tuned. We hope to see you in the next edition of MovieBot Extra. Don't forget, MovieBot Extra is a production of M Plus Visual TV. See you soon.